Welcome back, I'm Kate Bendewald with Designers Oasis and I help interior designers like you run your business with total confidence. Today I'm talking about the seven things that I do before I get on a phone call with a potential new client. Now this week on the blog you can read about how I run my initial phone call with a potential new client. I call it a discovery call and I've got more there but there are seven key things that I do before any phone call. It's my little ritual, it's what gets me in the zone, and it's what allows me to have a confident, focused conversation with my potential new client. So let's start. Number one is I take five to 10 minutes to just shift my focus from whatever it is I had been working on to focusing on only this person and uh, the, the new client. So that means I shut off my computer. Um, I sometimes will even walk away from my desk and go find a quiet space uh, somewhere else. I don't want to be running from just having grabbed lunch or meeting with a client or cranking on a deadline because I won't be focused, I won't be clear, and um, I really want to have uh, confidence in poise and be really thinking about my client and in, and in their zone, my potential new client. So give yourself some time. That's number one. Number two. I make it a point, I told you a minute ago that I shut off my computer. I Before I do, I print out um, whatever intake information I've received from them. So I have a small form on my website. I will print that out. It has, it has just a few simple questions. I will also print out uh, a note-taking sheet. And I actually have a free download for you this week on the blog. And um, what I like about this note-taking sheet is it prevents me from feeling like I have to write down every single word that comes out of their mouth because I have little sections. I have a section for their specific house and the project. Wh where is it located? Now I happen to know where it's located, but what year is the house? What style is it? I have a section about their family. I wanna know, do they have kids? Is grandma living with them? Are they empty nesters? What's their family story? Um, and then I have a section for pain points, and this is a really key section that I talk about at, at length in the blog, but the pain points is really important to write down. What are the words that they're saying? And, and then about the project. That's kind of the nuts and bolts of the project. And then on the back side, I've got more information about what offer did I give them? What did we establish as far as next steps? Um, if I made any promises to send them anything, I make sure to jot that down so that I don't forget. So this is a really key thing that I always have with me when I'm on that phone call and I've got a copy for you to download this week. Number three is I get into a quiet place with no distractions. So um, I have a home office. There are two other folks that work here with me and I prefer to take the phone calls in the house where it's quiet. So if you've got other people in your office um, or uh, wherever you might work, try to find a quiet place with very little distractions. Also, I think it's really important, and I do talk about this on the blog, it's super important to schedule your calls. I don't think that it's a good idea to take cold calls from clients because you can get phone calls while you're on a job site or you're working on a deadline or whatever the case may be, and you're not going to be able to provide yourself with these um, elements that give you the right focus and attention that you're going to need during the phone call. So that's really important too. Number four, before I get on the phone call, I'm going to go through all of the questions that they answered for me in that initial questionnaire. Now for me, I used to have a really long questionnaire and I found that that could be uh, something that almost kept people from finishing. So I wanted to make it more simple and then later on I give them a, a more detailed questionnaire. So I just simply ask, where do they live? Uh, what? Tell me a little bit about their project. And that's basically it. And so I read through that just to get a sense of what are they thinking. Number five is have your calendar available. Um, I will, before I close down my computer, have my calendar open and then pick three or four dates that could be potential um, consultation dates in mind. And I try to have those at the ready. So have some dates in mind because you're gonna to wanna to be able to talk about when you can have your first initial consultation. Number six is have your ladder of services ready and print it out for easy reference. Now, I've been doing this long enough that I don't actually need this anymore, but I always keep it nearby. So my ladder of services is really a detailed description of what are my services, what's included, pricing and where does it start. Um, and I actually don't get into the rabbit hole with them on this phone call on that information, but I do have it for quick reference if I need to remember like, what was my rate for designer for a day? Cause I just raised it for 2020. You know, that can be very helpful to have as well. And number seven is smile when you dial. So before you get on the phone, just remember to have a smile in your voice. 
I think that we, um, I know me, when I first was getting started, I could tend to drone <laughs> on and on. And you just really need to let your personality shine through on that phone call. Um, be authentic, be yourself. If you're not, if you don't have a bubbly personality, don't try to fake it because that will also come through. But just a simple smile and some warmth. Now, there's a, so much more in this week's post. It's really packed. But I want you to get into the habit of creating a ritual for yourself that allows you to slow down, focus, and just be prepared to be of service and be prepared to offer your client the, the best right fit for them. And I think that when you do, you'll find yourself converting more potential uh, clients into happily paying clients. So I hope this helps. Head over to designersoasis.com and read the rest of the post. There's so much more. You can also download your free note-taking uh, worksheet that I keep by my desk anytime I'm having a phone call. It really will allow you to stay more focused and take more uh, concise notes. All right, y'all have a great rest of your week. Bye.